Except for this first one right here. Uh, Jameer, as a matter of fact, you can do that in the board. Let's see what you got. This is like 10 people in it, 9 people in it. So she would let know where did you get the numbers from? The numbers from. I got okay. Oh, so you just convert it into it. Yeah. So you need to let them know that. So she converted converted one and one half hours to three halves. Then it has one fourth cup of water. So she multiplied it by one fourth and it got twelve over two, which equals six over one. So raise your hand if you have D. Come on. No one else had D. You didn't do it. I you understand? Uh, you understand? It's a lot. All right. So, I mean, well, I'm sorry. No, it's incorrect. But great job. Now I'm about to show you how. All right. You have any math? Good job. Is it six? Is it one over six? One over six? Uh, how would you get one over six? It's right. Because she, uh, I think she must have uh, she flipped four and one. She flipped four and one? Yeah. Okay. So you're saying she would have had. Three and a half times no. one fourth. No. But you're missing, you're missing something because she's converted into a part of a fraction. Right? That's where I get three halves from. But the second one is one and one fourth. Oh, I'm just one fourth. So let me explain to you. What is the question asked? What is the rate in cups per hour at which the water is leaking from the faucet, correct? Yeah. So when we talk about rate, we know we're using what formula? Uh, what operation? We talk about rates. Nope. So once again, the class is one six. What is the rate? Rate, you know, you should be dividing something. You're going to divide cups per hour. How many cups is it? One fourth. One fourth. Divided by what's the rate? One and one half, which we converted to what? Three fourths, three two. Three halves, right? So now my next question is, Heaven, yes. can you divide by a fraction? Can I divide by a fraction? Uh huh. No. You saying yes? Oh. No. Can you tell me out? Oh. Yes. You saying yes? All right. So raise your hand if you can divide by a fraction. If you think we can, raise your hand. Oh. You say you think we can? If you can divide by a fraction, raise your hand. Okay, I got one. That's it. So, I'm not saying blue. You don't know? Okay, so raise your hand if you can't divide by a fraction. All right, so Jeremiah, since you can't divide by a fraction, what do you do? Multiply that. Multiply what? What is that? No, you turn. I think you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's okay for me to ask someone to help you? Kevin, help me out. You turn into a decimal. Turn into a decimal? No, sir. No, sir. Good try. Good try. Keeny? Oh! Turn into an impossible fraction. No, I know. Right. I know. Look, no, I, I did it. I know what to do. I know what to do. Excuse me. What are we doing? You got to multiply one, four, 1 over 4 and 3 over 2. I did it wrong. I did it backwards. So we're multiplying what? 1, 4 and 3, two. Ugh. 3 over 2. It will give you One thing. Eight. Remember, you cannot ever divide by a fraction, so you keep change, change. So that's one fourth. So the divider, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. Two 
2 over 6 reduces to 2 over 12 reduces to 1 6. I was still kind Remember, okay. what is the rate? You put it in the formula. Cups per hour. Remember, time always goes at the bottom. If I ask you what's the rate of a plane flying 5,000 miles in 3 hours, you're going to have 5,000 over 3 hours. Okay? Remember, time always goes at the bottom. Okay? So when they talk about the rate, you need to have rate at the bottom. You're going to be dividing. One fourth divided by three halves. Ken, make sure you have your copy down. This is your paper for you to keep, for you to study. Now remember I told you this is not in order, okay? So on the next one, you gotta, you gotta flip through. This is the next one when it talks about the drawbridge. I don't think you guys have. I think this is the one you have on your paper. Yeah. Right. So, Erica, read number eight for me. It says, which table shows the proportional relationship between y and x and y? Correct. Which table shows a proportional relationship? Uh, who can tell me what they know about proportional relationships? You gotta have a constant. You gotta be constant. You gotta have what now? Constant. Those? Constant of what? Proportionality. Correct. Now, what is the formula to find the constant of proportionality? X, Y divided by X. Thank you. Y divided by X equals what? Complete, yeah. open the door. Okay, okay. So now that means you need to go through for A, B, C, and D and find out which one has a constant of proportionality. And you're going to do that by dividing Y over X in every one of them. So let's just do these together now. For A, what is zero divided by one? Zero. What's three divided by two? Six. Six. Three divided by two. Oh. You just say three halves ought to be one and one half. What's six divided by three? Two. So are all these the same? No. no. So will A have a constant proportionality relationship? Yeah. No. So we know that A wouldn't work. B, what's one divided by one? One. one. What's three divided by two? We just one. want to say three halves. What's five divided by three? We just 